henchman, what have you done? Shut up. Smokey the Bear is crying right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing Butterfly Soup. This is episode five. As some of you may remember, we left off playing as Noelle when she was just an itty bitty baby. So what was that all about? What an idiot. And Min tried to fight her, as Min does. What is DSC in someone that dumb? I don't understand. I'm home. What did you get on the math test? An A minus? A minus? Why not an A? Noelle's mom is cutting a column out of the Chinese newspaper. Look at this article. This boy is accepted into every single Ivy League college. He lives in Pleasanton. If he can do it, why can't you? I'm putting this on your wall to inspire you. She gets up and tapes it up in Noelle's bedroom next to a poem her dad printed out. There is no success without hardship. Can I go to the park with Dia this Saturday? What for? We're taking a walk around the lake. There's also a Peko nearby. She wants to look at the fish and hamsters. Will Dia still be your friend if you say no? Yes, but I want to... Then there's no point. Now that you've already established your friendship, you should be spending the minimum amount of energy to maintain it. Otherwise, you're just wasting your limited time. Fun is an illusion. Don't be controlled by your emotions. But I'm free that Saturday. Chinese school is on break. You can use it to study for your tests at school. I already studied for them. All of them? I finished reading all my textbooks already. Twice. Did you do all the practice problems? I did all the practice problems. Ha ha, take that. There's nothing that could possibly be left for me to do. I'll buy next year's textbook so you can get started on those then. Wow, she just wants her to do all the work. Upset, Noelle curls up in bed, angrily hugging her giant snake plushie. Read next year's textbooks. The Fox and the Grapes. A hungry fox saw a fine bunch of grapes hanging from a vine. He did his best to reach them by jumping as high as he could into the air, but it was all in vain, for they were just out of reach. So he gave up trying and walked away with an air of dignity and unconcern, remarking, I thought those grapes were ripe, but I see now they are quite sour. Reading comprehensive questions. Number one, why doesn't the fox eat the grapes? He couldn't reach them. Through the window, Noel can hear someone whiff <laughs> whiffing a badminton racket outside. Oh get outside sorry it's okay oh those are that was john and his friend i forget his friend's name but he played the evil dragon in the first episode it sounds like they're playing badminton in the driveway without a net they're probably in the dumb kids class two what does it all it was all in vain mean it was useless no oh my god did you see that they're both laughing stupid hooligans wasting their time having fun Ha! I'm above such petty and necessit and unnes ugh unnecessities. They'll regret it when they're working at McDonald's someday. I hate sports anyway. I'm the real real winner here. What's the message of the story? Uh, appearances are deceptive. Look before you leap. It's easy to despise. It's easy to despise what you cannot have. Oh, we're so smart. Unless I got those wrong. No, I'm stupid. Ninth grade. Noel, you're up to bat. Oh, we're back on the field. Noel grudgingly steps up to the plate. I hate sports, why am I here? Akarsha is pitching. She raises her eyebrows at Noel as she winds up. Wake up. What? Wake up, Frenchman, you're in a coma. I am not, you're trying to confuse me and failing. Akarsha pitches the ball. Swing at the ball. Through sheer luck, Noel managed to hit the ball. It pops straight up. Noel runs for first base with the agility of an old man with two broken legs. Ah, oh, perfect. Krissa. Got it. Krissa catches it in her mitt. The runner already on first base gives Noel a strange look when she runs up to it. Noel, you're you're out. Stop running. It's embarrassing. What? Why? Apparently Noel doesn't know the rules of baseball. She caught a genius. But so why can't I run? How come the runner on first isn't out? The rules of this game are really income uh not really like you're the one who hit it so that means you're, you're out it's okay nice try i don't need praise for failing i'm not stupid noel grabs a mitt and joins dia and the others on the field we're taking turns batting everyone who isn't a batter or runner is defending the field 
Yep, that's how baseball works. It feels so odd to be doing this. I keep half expecting someone to holler at me to get off. Suddenly, Dia swerves back to avoid a bee flying at her face. Did that bee just try to sting you? Come back here, you bee coward. I'm gonna you up. Min moves indiligently between Dia and the bee. Uh, she's trying to protect Dia from the bee. Min throws a punch at the offending bee. Oh, really? Min's gonna freaking punch the bee? After silently watching a few fruitless swings, Dia takes off her hat and strikes the bee in mid-air with the bill of her cap. Wow, that's some talent right there. It falls to the ground, dead. Min beams at her with pure adoration in her eyes. When did you move back? About two weeks ago. Wow, if we had any classes together, we would have crossed paths way sooner. Does Jen Seol go here now too? No, he's at a different school. He goes to Niles. That's an easier, less Asian school. Why would your parents put you in different schools? They didn't. I originally went there too, but I got expelled. Expelled? How is Florida? You're not going to ask about the expelled part? Of course, Dia's just used to that. Also, it's a good thing she was expelled because now she's here. Horrible. They don't have boba places here. I had to drink milkshakes. What the? That's crazy. And everyone was white. Are white people that bad? They do stuff like pull their eyes into slits and go ching chong ting tong or go back to China. I'm not even Chinese. I had to get so good at beating people up. What the heck? That sounds like a cartoon. I thought racism was over. Sadly, Dia, it is continuing. Me too. But they showed us that cartoon every year in class where they time travel to see when there's segregation. What happened? Beats me. The next batter strikes out. Liz, who's acting like the catcher, returns the bat to Akarsha. Akarsha fumbles it and drops it on the mound. Everyone watches disapprovingly as she scrambles to pick it back up. That was an illusion, a trick of the light. No, we clearly saw you mess up. It's Dia's turn at bat now. Okay, everyone, everyone back up. Dia hits the pitch with a downright scary amount of force. The ball shoots over everyone's heads and lands in a tree in the distance, causing several starter crows to flap out. Yeah! Whose side are you on? You're supposed to be on defense. Okay, but you have to admit, that was sick. Nice one, Dia. She's so excited. <laughs> Min turns at the plate now. It's Min's turn at the plate now. She immediately grabs the heaviest bat they have. Min, so are you gonna use that? We have other bats that are closer to your... This one is fine. She hasn't even tried the other ones. She just wants to show off. But in general, people your size should use the 30 inch no, I'm not some weakling. On the mound, Akarsha paces back and forth as Min squares up to the batter's box. Are you trying to psych me out? I bet you can't eat five crayons. Oh yeah, I bet I can. No eating crayons while the club is in session, please. Actually, Noelle, how about you try pitching now? It's been a while since we switched. Me? Noelle switches places with Akarsha on the mound. Bring it, you weak why are, what are you insulting me for? We're on the same side now. No, we're not. What the heck are you talking about? Don't baseball pitchers pitch for to their own team? Oh, goodness. No. Everyone is shooting the well appalled looks. No, you pitch against the enemy. It's the pitcher's goal not to let the batter get on base. Oh, I see. That's why they pitch at such high velocity. So it's harder for the batter to hit a touchdown. Noelle, have you ever watched a baseball game before? She really just say touchdown. <laughs> Can you even name a single baseball team? Uh, well, would they give me a baseball team? The 49ers. It's definitely football. Chris looks like she's about to cry. Noelle, that's a football team. Is it? Well, how was I supposed to know? They're all pretty much the same. Men squares up in the batter's box. Throw the ball. Noah throws a ball at her with all her might. It plops back down in the grass, not even halfway to Min. What the hell was that? That throw was so soft. Nobody ordered ice cream, Noelle. Get it together. All right, I get it. I guess we'll count that as a ball. What? You didn't throw it through the strike zone. If you miss, it's a ball. If you throw four balls before the batter strikes out, the batter goes to first base for free. Where is the strike zone exactly? It's right here and it's harder to hit because she's small. It starts at the midpoint between the top of the batter's shoulders and the top of their pants. The bottom is a line at the hollow beneath the kneecap. 
What happens if you're wearing a skirt? Does it default to the nearest pair of pants you own? You have to be wearing proper uniform pants to play official games. There's rules about that. If we want to throw the game, but in a subtle way, all we have to do is pull our pants up really high, like to our armpits, that's not subtle at all. Also, you can definitely, you can tell where things are. Assuming we play this in the regular way, don't short people naturally have a smaller batting zones? Since their bodies are smaller, that is correct. Yes, it takes more precision, precision to strike them out. By the way, the measurements are based on the batter's stance, not while they're standing straight up. Knowing that, can't we just reduce the batting zone's volume to zero by squatting down? Girl, but you can't, that's not proper form. That way any pitch they throw becomes a ball. I don't know if there's a rule against that, but if you do anything too weird, it'll be com considered poor sportsmanship. It feels like the other people aren't playing fair. It won't be fun anymore. The umpire will probably stop you too. Whenever something's not explicitly outlined in the rules, it's his call. Okay, are we done explaining now? Can we play baseball? Sure, I think we covered all the bases. Get it? <laughs> Ugh. Um, I feel like she wouldn't laugh. Noelle doesn't laugh. That was horrible. Crystal looks disappointedly by Noelle's cold re reception to her joke. My joke was a swing and a miss. I better pitch the ball before she says more. Throw the ball. Noah hurls the ball with all her might. It plops down in the grass in the exact same spot as last time. Deer raises her hand and looks at Chris expectantly like she's waiting to be called on. Yes, you can just talk. You don't have to do that. Noelle doesn't have enough bo upper body strength to throw it that far. That's a problem. No matter what position she plays, she's going to have to throw it that far at some point. Well, good thing I'm not joining the stupid club then. Problem solved. All right, whatever, I'll pitch for now. Noelle hands the ball over to Krissa and joins Akarsha and Dia back on the field. As Noelle jogs to them, Akarsha plucks a dandelion from the grass and presents it to her. If you were a flower, you'd be a damn dandelion. This is literally a weed. Akarsha tries to blow the dandelion seeds into Noelle's eyes. Stop that. Min, snack <laughs> Min smacks Chris's pitch into the ground and takes off running. Dia tears after it with the look of a dog chasing a squirrel. She scoops it up and throws it to a Akarsha, who's manning for space now. I got it! I got it! Akarsha tries to catch it, but it ends up knocking the ball away with the tip of her glove. Oh, that sucks. Akarsha, you need to work on your catches. Akarsha needs to work on her hand-eye coordination. Huh, why? You dropped the ball. What, that wasn't me. That was totally you, everyone saw. Incredible. That must be my look-alike from another dimension. You briefly glimpsed a parallel universe when Akarsha didn't catch the ball. But now you've crossed back over to the reality where I did catch it. That explains the memory discrepancy. It's the only logical explanation. Or you just messed up in one a minute? Min manages to round the bases and score thanks to Akarsha's mistake. Akarsha, you're up to bat. I'm ready. Akarsha twirls the bat behind her back, squats down for no reason, and hops several times like a frog before springing back up in a dramatic pose. Is she going to do that every time she goes up to bat? Knowing her? Yes. My signature. You don't need a signature. Watch out. Huh? Akarsha's batting... <laughs> Akarsha batted a ball straight at Noelle. Noelle flails her arms in a panicked attempt to catch the ball. She misses it. Krista does nothing. She's still sulking because Noelle didn't laugh at her joke. Ow! Oops. That was... Ghost. It wasn't a ghost. It's Min's turn to pitch now. Oh, goodness. Krista hands the ball over to her and heads over to the plate to bat. Whenever you're ready, the fielders are backing up. Chris is even taller than Dia, so she looks like she could hit it pretty far. I, I, I love her outfit. All right. Min clutches the ball in a claw-like grip. Come on, Min. You better be practicing. You said you would. She brings her arm back and then forward, hard over the top, and lets go. As the ball approaches the plate, it does a little hop, like a hiccup. Crystal looks weirded out. She doesn't swing. The flutter is just enough to throw Liz off. The ball glances off the side of her glove and bounces off her kneecap. What the? 
It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Seeing the ball coming at you without spinning. Yeah, it was like just floating at me. Er, I couldn't tell the difference. Oh my god, did she just throw a, a knuckleball? Maybe Dia can catch it. It looked normal to me. Liz returns the ball to Min. Min clutches it in the same messed up looking grip, rears up, and lets another pitch go. Krista misses it by a foot. It's a pitch you couldn't hit with a tennis racket. Liz has to twist into a weird angle to stop the ball in the dirt. A knuckleball, huh? What's that? It's a rare pitch thrown with nearly no spin, so its path is unpredictable. Well, I get it. You're making this up as an excuse for why you missed. I'm not making it up. It operates on the same principle as a float s serve in volleyball. Or a knuckle a ball in soccer, if you know that. Uh, no, I don't know either of those. Okay, so when you pitch a ball normally, it spins like crazy. Somewhere around 10 times on the way to the plate. Spin is what gives a ball sp stability as it moves. If you can learn how to throw it with minimal spin, it instantly will give it an unpredictable tra trajectory. It starts behaving like a chaotic system, like the weather. And that's great, because a lot of sports, ma sports mastery is just recognizing situations. Everyone says to keep your eye on the ball, but it's actually impossible to do that due to the elimination limitations of human reaction what good hitters actually do is anticipate the ball's flight path based on cues they recognize from being in similar situ situations before in the past in other words they don't see the ball they just guess its trajectory ah but they can't do that against a knuckleball that's right a knuckleball's tra trajectory is drastically different each time it's pitched so no matter how good you are there's no way to reliably hit it Thrown correctly, it moves so erratically that it's impossible to hit except through sheer luck. I still can't tell if you're making this up as an excuse for why you suck. No, it's real. But you couldn't catch it, so it's also a convenient excuse for you. And if it is real, then why doesn't everyone use it? It sounds pr practically game-breaking. Well, Noel, it's probably hard. Well, for one... Knuckleballs are one of the hardest pitches to throw in baseball, if not the hardest. Put a little too much spin on the ball or throw it just a little too fast and you're basically serving up a mini practice pitch that'll get hit out of the park. And even at its best, a knuckleballer is a double-edged sword. Batters can't hit it, but also that also means pitchers can't control it and catchers can't catch it. When thrown right, even men has no idea where it's going. They say throwing a knuckleball for a strike is like throwing a butterfly into a mailbox across the street. Even in the big leagues, catchers hate it. And if I let, let it go past me, it could lead to the batter or a runner on base advancing. With a knuckleballer pitching, the catcher has to focus so hard on stopping it that runners on base will have an easier time stealing. It's a big pain. So basically, it's hard to throw, right? It's hard to control it even when you do it right and punishing if you miss. Pretty much, no one trusts it. Knuckleball is the pitch of someone with nothing left to lose. And that's us. We can try things that no coach in their right mind would ever risk, because no one expects anything from us. So we might as well take advantage of that, right? Even if we don't win a single game, at least we'll have fun. Fun? What kind of nonsense is this? Krista strikes out. The ball ricochets off Liz, Liz's mitt and catches her bare hand, striking her thumb at a painful looking angle. Ow. Okay, time out. That looked pretty painful. Liz's thumb has turned a swollen purple. Are you okay? Olive. Man, is that all you know how to throw? I can catch fastballs too, but they're not that fast. Oh, I can pitch fastballs probably. I don't know. So knuckleball is kind of my specialty. I used to watch videotapes of Tim Wakefield pitching on TV over and over again and copied that. It's the only pitch I really practice. That's so smart, honing all your skill on an off-speed pitch, knowing that you don't have the muscle to throw fast. Did your coach suggest it? Uh, no, I didn't have one. No one taught me anything. I taught myself. Huh? Then why? May, what made you decide to specialize as a knuckleballer? I chose it because uh, it's hard to catch. You chose it because of Dia. So Dia has to be the one to catch it, since it'll hurt everyone else. What kind of reason is that? She's so stupidly... <laughs> what? <laughs> She's so stupid, she unknowingly ended up doing something smart. Min, what do you mean by Dia having to catch it? Dia's immune to it because she's special. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Dia has been standing by, hopefully 
Hope. <laughs> what am I? Okay, I can read. Dia has been standing by, hopefully, for five minutes now, looking like she wants to say something. Dia, would you like to try catching in my place? <gasps> Dia nods furiously. Then that settles it. Let's switch. Yay! Once Dia has strapped on all the gear, Min throws it again. Dia caught it. What? She sounds like Fox falling off the stage in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I knew it. Crystal was making it up. I'm never believing your lies again. We weren't lying. Tia just caught it again. See, Tia is amazing. Okay, that has to be a fluke. Calm down. You're the one who needs to calm down. They've managed to relieve another hitter together. Akarsha is up next. On her way to the plate, she tries to do the splits, fails, and she officially crawls back to her feet. That was my plan all along. I'm playing four-dimensional chess. God, I can't stand her. I won't. I want to push her off a cliff, but a shallow one so she doesn't get hurt, just to scare her. Min winds up and throws another knuckler. It veers wildly up into the sky. Without hesitation, Dia rises out of her crouch and gloves it. What? That would have been a ball, but still. Is it really that surprising? Dia's always been good at sports. It'd be... I'd be more shocked if she failed. Well, not with this. No, but you don't understand. This goes beyond being good at sports. It's literally impossible. Akarja swings and misses for the third time. She struck out. Uh, that was performance art. You can't make up these excuses every time you mess up. Once Dia and Min have relieved the entire roster, Liz claps her hands together to get their attention. All right, everyone, let's end the meeting for today. What, already? Yeah, it's been like two hours. Huh? They said time flies when you're having fun, but I wasn't having fun. I I must have been so miserable that my mind wiped parts of my memory out. Let's head back inside. Dia, I'll race you. <gasps> Dia and Min tear off at top speed. After a, a beat, the others begin heading uphill as well, at a deliberately more reasonable pace. I haven't seen Dia this happy since the time the vending machine mal malfunctioned and gave her two Kit Kat bars instead of one. I'd be pretty happy too <laughs> about that. Noelle suddenly tries to regulate her breathing rate so no one knows she's getting winded walking uphill. Hey Noelle, uh, thanks for putting up with us today. Sorry we sort of forced you to play. It wasn't the worst. I may find it in me to forgive you someday. Yeah, you did good. I did terrible. Okay, you did terrible. But you tried your best and that's what matters. It's not like everyone can be Dia. Don't worry so much and just have fun. It's not a competition. Right. Krista pats Noelle on the head. Don't touch me. We really appreciate you pitching in. Yuck. Noelle tries to escape. She takes one step, slips on the muddy grass, and falls on her butt. Noelle! What are you doing, Noelle? Trying to win America's Funniest Home Video? Ugh. Krista, you pull her up. My hands are full. No! Noelle scrambles to her feet and follows the others up the bank as quickly as she can. Not very quick. Hey, wait, Noelle, they're being nice to me, to trick me into joining the club. I won't fall for it. Unlike some people, I have control over my emotions. I'll just ignore her. <laughs> what was that? Min is picking herself off the ground. There's a Min-shaped dust imprint on the door now. Are you okay? The door was locked. You probably should have checked before ramming straight into it. Don't tell me what to do. Looks like we'll have to wait for Chris and Liz to unlock it. Min pulls a lighter out of her pocket and lights a cigarette. Are you serious? That's illegal. What the goddamn hell is your damage? I can't do anything without you calling it illegal. Because it is illegal. Even if it wasn't, what kind of idiot are you? Did you learn about the health effects of tobacco in school? It's just a bunch of statistics. Plenty of people smoke and don't die. What, you think you're better than the laws of probability? Yeah, I am. Go ahead and remove yourself from the gene pool then. I don't care. Hey, Min, can I try smoking it? What? Have you lost your mind? Don't try cigarettes, kids. Come on, aren't you curious? It's not like I'll get addicted from just one smoke. Min holds out the cigarette for Akarsha. Here, don't mind if I do. No! Noelle bats the cigarette out of Akarsha's hands. It lands in some dry pine needle and bursts into flames. Good job. Good job. Uh, Dia's like, um, uh, guys? Ah! Frenchman, what have you done? Shut up. Smokey the bear is crying right now. Only you can prevent forest fires. Well, what do we do now? Pee on it. Are you stupid? Stop, drop, and roll. You don't do that unless you're already on fire. 
Head on, apply direction to the forehead. This isn't helping. Silence falls over the group as they hear approaching steps on the other side of the wood divider. It sounds like Chris and Liz are slowly getting closer to the locker room. Hey, what are you guys screaming about? Nothing's wrong, don't come in here. Is everything okay? <laughs> everything is fine. Where's the nearest fire or extinguishers? The footsteps cause for a <laughs> the footsteps pause for a brief stun moment before resuming with dramatically increased speed and urgency. Crap, we need to fix this. We should smother it. Someone use their jacket. What if the jacket gets burned? This is my favorite jacket, man. Same. Who likes her jacket the least? Me. Dia strips off her hoodie. Min watches with extreme interest. Min? Min, really? But looks incredibly disappointed when she sees Diaz wearing a shirt underneath. Man, were you expecting her to just freaking naked? What? Akarsha throws the jacket over the fire and stomps on it. Okay, I think we extinguish it. Teamwork. Dia picks up her jacket and shakes it out. Other than mud prints from Akarsha's flip flops, it looks no worse for wear. I can't believe Frenchman snapped and tried to commit arson. That's not what happened. Chris and Liz are here. What's that burnt smell? Uh. Mm, uh who did it it was jerry we're inventing a person now who the hell is jerry he's a guy black hair right we all saw him he did it dia nods <laughs> hopefully um jeez don't slam your door girl what a day. I somehow ended up playing baseball, got patted by some random upperclassmen, and was interrogated over arson. They questioned us all separately, and our accounts of Jerry fell apart. In the end, they made us do push-ups as punishment. I'm exhausted. I'm home. What did you get on the math test? An A. An A? Why not an A plus? Oh! An A minus? Why not an A? An A? Why not an A plus? Hmm, it's never good enough. Noel's mom is cutting a column out of the Chinese newspaper. Look at this article. A CEO sold his company for over a billion dollars and donated 200 million to UC Berkeley. There's a building at Berkeley named after him now. He's American, born Chinese, just like you. If he can do it, why can't you? I'm putting this up on your wall to inspire you. Uh, she gets up and tapes it up in Noel's bedroom next to the shelf gleaming with Noel's math competition trophies. Check your computer. Dude, WTF, did I miss in elementary school? According to Min, basically, she's your childhood arch nemesis. And Dia's ex? The arch nemesis part is accurate, but she's not Dia's ex. That's ridiculous. Okay, she didn't use those exact words, but pretty much? That's impossible. They're both girls. So? What do you mean, so? I can't believe you have an arch nemesis. I don't even know people had those in real life. How's this going to work? I don't understand what you're asking. Please reword the question. What are you going to do about Min? Nothing. She doesn't pose any th me any threat. Dia made her promise not to hurt me before, so she's strictly limited to insulting and threatening me. All bark and no bite, so to speak. I'm probably actually the safest person in the school, as the only one with this kind of immunity. I'll try my best to avoid her. What? She's friends with both Dia and me now. You gotta figure out how to deal with this with her sooner or later. No, I don't. My strategy has worked flawlessly all the way through elementary school. There's no reason to change it now. Your strategy? The maybe if I ignore the problem it'll go away strategy? I don't have a choice. You don't understand how stupid she really is. She's not just pretending to be dumb like you. She's dumb. For real. She once carved her name into a desk and couldn't figure out how they caught her. Uh, wait, hold up. Wait, I got it. Join the baseball club. Why? How does that solve anything? It doesn't. But trust me, it will it always works in the movies. Whenever two characters hate each other, if they end up in a situation where they're forced to work together, they come out of it as BFFs. More realistically, they'd go down from enemies to worse enemies. No, I'm calling it right now. We're going to miraculously set our differences aside and work as a team. Also, we win by one. Come on, Frenchman. One of us. One of us. No. Yes. Leave the Eiffel Tower behind. Stop telling everyone I live inside the Eiffel Tower. Make your dreams into reality. This isn't my dream. Then what is? Doesn't it bother you everyone else our ages gets to have fun? Like, bro, where's my complicated relationship drama? Where's my reckless teen adventures? Don't you feel like you're missing out sitting at home all alone all the time? No, because it'll pay off in the future. 
but your youth is irreplaceable. That's some good advice. Lavelle was invited to the baseball group chat. Okay, everyone, I'm leaving off right here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, click like and subscribe and leave a comment down below, and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload. If you're interested in the game, I will leave a link in the description. See you guys next time. Bye!